everybody and welcome back to another episode of Small Engine Velocity and today we have a ruckus test, a ruckus video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test and map out different weights uh, and this is all mixed weights, not one weight, but mixed weights with 5.5 and see what we can get as far as uh, speed at particular RPMs and at particular uh, intervals. So what we're gonna do is I found a piece of white vinyl and I did this. Ta-da! The toolbox of knowledge. We have test A, test B, and test C at 7,000 RPM, 8,000 8, RPM, 9,000 if we can get to 9,000 RPM and our top speed that we can get with this particular weight set. Blue will be 4 gram plus 5.5 gram weights. Red will be 5 or 4.5 gram with 5.5 and green will be 5 gram with 5.5. So progressively the lighter set of weights get heavier. Uh, eventually I'll do a, a single weight across but we're gonna do mixed weights because that's the type of weights that I have at the moment. Since uh, four gram and 5.5 is what I already have in the in the, the ruckus, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road and do a quick warm up and then speed test. I'll run the same route for each set of weights uh, around the neighborhood and down the longest stretch of road that I can get it on. Anyways. Let's get to testing the 4 gram and 5.5 now. Okay, so the route's gonna go through the back of my neighborhood and then come around to a much longer and flatter road. So the route through the neighborhood will be the warm up and getting the belt settled in since uh, I had to disconnect it from the, the drive face. And then, uh, We'll see what we can get with the speed tests. Now, going through the neighborhood, I can get the lower numbers, but anything above uh, eight, I'll have to do the nine, I'll have to do the 9,000 in top speed outside of, I mean, I'll have to do the top speed one on the longer road. But this is gonna be a lot of rinse and repeat, so I'll probably get tired in a little bit of riding around in circles. So 7,000 is around 25, 26 miles per hour. Let's call it, let's call it 25. Well, no, it's 26 now. So let's call it 26. 7,000 is, no, 7,000 is 25. So 7,000 is 25. I gotta remember to hold it because the belt's still moving. 8,000 is, 34, 35, 8,000 is about 35, 8,000 is 35, so 7,000 is 25, and 8,000 is 35, and that thus warms us up. I think we're pretty warm now, it's been like 5 minutes of riding. 9,000 was 42 just a second ago. Well, we'll see. I didn't get a long enough run on that one. Yeah, 9,000 is 42. Yep, 9,000 is 42. And hopefully here I'll be able to get a max speed test. But this is my stock weights that I've been running with a while, so I know my max speed's somewhere around 44 miles per hour or so. I don't want to pull out in front of these cars. Oh, there's two of them. So now we're going for top speed. at 
good test. That was a good test on that wall, run, run. Let's go back to the garage and report this in. Okay, so what have we learned? We learned that at 7K is 25 miles per hour. At 8K, it's 35 miles per hour. And at 9K, we're at 42. And then the top speed was 44 at 95.50 RPM. Okay. Now I'm I'm used to the I'm used to these numbers for the first one because that's what I ride every day to work with. So the next set will be a different set. We're gonna go with 5.5 or 4.5 and 5.5. Let's give it a test. All right. To validate. I don't have any 5.5 gram sliders, so I used foil. As you can see, there's foil inside of here. So here it goes, 5.51, 5.53, 5.51. Those are the five, or sorry, 4.5. Those are 4.5. And then this is 5.5, 5.51, .5, 5.51, 5.51. These are the weights. I'll go ahead and install them into the CVT and then we will go ahead and get our numbers. All right, so 7,000 is like 24 miles per hour. 4,000 is 24 miles per hour. 8,000. Get it to 8,000. Is 34? About 34, 35? 34. 8,000 is 34. Yep, yeah, 8,000 is about 34. Close to 35, but 34. 9,000 is. 43. 9,000 is 43. So, well, let's call 9,000 at 43. That's what I got last time. 42, 43. Seems about, I don't know. Is that right? It shouldn't be going up. All right. Well, we got one more straightaway to test. Yeah, 9,000 is definitely 43. significant reduction in my RPM. But I'm still going 44. Come on. I guess it's super windy. Okay, 44, but this time at 9,200 RPM. So that's not bad, 4,400. No, 4,400. Uh, 9140 was it? Was 44? That's close. 9000 is 43. Definitely my top speed has a lower RPM. Or at least 44 miles per hour has a lower RPM. So that works out great. So let's head back to the garage. I'm actually going to let it sit and cool for a second because the last time I tried to take everything apart it was really, 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 really hot. So let's give it like, <laughs> like 15 minutes or something before I start to try to take it apart. Okay, results from test B. 7K was 24 miles per hour. 8K was 34. Uh, 9K was, what was 9K? 40 something. I know that Iowa did 44 and my tops, it was at 9150 RPM. Was it 42? I think it was 42. There you go. So B, 7K 24 miles per hour, 8K 34 miles per hour, 9K 42 miles per hour with a top speed on my very short run for 44 miles per hour at 9150. 
almost f what that's what 400 rpm lower at the same top speed so let's go ahead and move on to the next set all right and for test c we're gonna have 50 503 i think both these are 503 this one's exactly 50, and these should be the 5.5s. 5.49, 5.49, and 5.51. All right, let's go ahead and get these installed and do our last test run. All right, we're back with the five gram and the 5.5 gram. All right, we're about to get on the slow road. That has a speed limit of 30 miles per hour, so people shouldn't get too mad at me for going super slow on it. So what does everyone think so far? Is it answering any questions? To me, I have no idea until I look at all the numbers. And really, until I make the video, uh, I'll probably get a lot more opinions than I, I, I want. But, let's see. So 7,000 RPM is about 25, almost 26. 7,000 is 27. Huh, interesting. 8,000 is 35, 27, 27, and then 35. We gotta try to get to 9,000 now. This is uphill, so it's not fair. Nine thousand is forty-five. So twenty-seven thirty-four. Forty-five? Did I just say forty-five? Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to correct myself in this stinking video because <laughs> there's too many numbers to remember. I was hoping to have nine thousand out of the way before I got to the long flat road for top speed. Can't plan for everything. Oh man, I didn't have. I might have to drag this one out since I got bad luck with the lights. And, Wind. So with test C, with the 5 gram and the 5.5 gram, I got 24. I don't expect a lot of change here. Um, for the 8K, I got 37 miles per hour. I never got to 9,000, but I was at 44 miles per hour at 89.10, I believe is was RPM. So what does this tell me? The higher the weight I go, the lower my RPM at my highest end speed. Uh, my, uh, the heavier the weight, the lower my RPM. The heavier the weights, the lower my RPM is at a certain speed. So at 37 miles per hour, it's 8K. 34, 35 with the lighter weights. So my RPM is obviously lower. But I guess there's a tipping point where it's too heavy to roll that mass around. So 
there we go. Okay, viewers, well, there you have it. Uh, there is my speed test, or testing with uh, uneven weights or mixed weights. Uh, the results are pretty clear that uh, if I can get 9,000, because that was a pretty bad test run for the for the heaviest weights, the 5 and the 5.5, because I had a lot of red lights. But I mean, I got to 44 at 89. I never got to hit 9,000, so I'm very confident that on with great conditions and a straight long a straight long road, I should be able to get a pretty good RPM. But anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.